Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I just flew in from Michigan and I seen this box sitting on my porch. Very excited because this, I believe, is a product that was uh, suggested I take a look at and I will leave the information in the description below. But a company basically reached out to me and asked if I would give a fair evaluation of their product. So let's go ahead and open the box. Let's see if it's true. All right, let's see. There it is. Oh, yes, it is. All right. Excellent. So this is the ODM 201. This would be a digital microscope. Um, it's got dual LED lights on the service platform. It's got focus on the microscope itself, a digital panel, and it's got uh, recording stuff uh, along with a remote control, which is very cool. So this is the seven inch digital LCD microscope. There are some pretty big pluses to the model that I have, which I don't have here, it's at work. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this guy to see what's in the box. It's packaged rather nicely. I appreciate that, guys. We have a manual, a color manual, which is pretty nice. They give very good descriptions on how to set up the microscope, which is definitely better than my last microscope. I had to make some educated guesses. So we have a manual, we have a lens cleaning cloth. Very nice, microfiber, very nice indeed. Let's keep that guy clean. And let's see, here is my microscope body along with the integrated monitor. All right, it says please remove protective film before using. Let's do that now. Ooh, it's so satisfying to take those uh, protectors off. Oh, okay. I see some real pluses already on this guy. Uh, let's finish the unboxing before I go into some of those details. All right, let's see. We've got um, a USB-C. Yes. Yes. I am tired of the USB mini and the micros. USB-C, guys. That's what I'm talking about. So I have two USB-C cables in here. I've got the remote. Very nice looking remote, very simple. It's got an OK button and two directionals. And let's go ahead and pull this tab out and that activates the battery. Let's go ahead and put those over there. Um, okay. So this looks like it's part of the stand. It's very heavy, very heavy indeed. So let's go ahead and put him down. I have, oh my gosh, you guys really did include everything with this microscope. You really did. So this is rather special. I have a HDMI mini to regular size HDMI. Oh my gosh. Thank you for including this cable. I really appreciate that. So I could show the video on a larger display. Very big plus. Thank you for that. And we've got a AC adapter, USB power out. Let's see, is this one here five volt? It is five volt, one amp. Okay. And let's go ahead and pull this really carefully. Okay. And this appears to be the stand itself. Yep, it sure is. Okay. Um, fit and finish, it appears very nice. It's got a rack and pinion system here. You can see how smooth it is. There are no rough edges, no burnishes, unlike another microscope that I purchased. No scratches, everything looks pretty good. So you can tension it on the back, which is nice, so you can adjust it. And this adjusts the tension on the um, slider itself. Okay, I like that. Let's go ahead and put him down. 
And the final piece, which is going to be the base. Okay, guys, this is the ODM 201, and this is everything that came in the box. It actually looks really good. I'm going to start with the manual because I think this is probably one of the best manuals. I don't know what manual version 1.0 is, but this one here is a very good product because it's color and everything is labeled step by step how to build this microscope, what each part is, what it does much better than the other microscopes that I've dealt with and the ones that I've seen at people's workbenches. This one tells you pretty much everything you're going to need to know. So the manual, excellent. We have a cleaning cloth. This is a microfiber chamois style cleaning cloth. I think it's going to be really good. We have the microscope base, which has got a tilt and it looks like it's got a touch sensitive dimmer. That's what it looks like. I haven't plugged it in yet. I don't know. Um, two of the gooseneck lamps, LEDs, they look like they got some pretty big bulbs in there. So it's going to be interesting to see how much light output they give. I have this weighted piece of the base. So uh, this one here obviously goes on next. It feels like it's pretty heavy. And what it's going to do is it's going to give me another, what, four or five inches worth of height for working in here. So I'm going to start by screwing it in. Let's go all the way down. All right. And the next I've got the rack and pinion stand. All right. So the rack and pinion, it has a really good fit and finish. It's got a jam nut down at the bottom. So that's going to be for adjustment. I've got two Teflon tension screws to hold the microscope at the top. Um, the rack and pinion looks really good. And if it's tensioned just a little bit here on the back, the rack seems to move very nicely. So I dig it. All right, so what we're gonna do, to install this next piece, is I'm going to screw the jam nut all the way to the top, and then we are going to center it. There we go. Is it going to go around? Nope. Okay. So in order for the threads to kind of line up, you have to center it and then use the jam nut to secure the stand exactly where you want it. I've got mine pretty much at a 90 degree angle. Um, that's going to give me a straight down image. We could tilt it back if you need a little bit more range. So if you're going to operate with something out here, but I think straight down, I think it's going to be plenty. I've got here a, what they say is a light reflection reducer. I don't know if I'll ever need that. Maybe that's going to help on some of those bright, bright parts. And this is the, actually the microscope head. It's got an integrated seven inch display with a fine bezel around the outside. Most of the other microscopes on the market, I see a nice fat bezel, which I really don't like because it's going to increase the footprint. And if this is going to sit on your soldering bench, you want it to have as small of a footprint as feasible for its mission. So this one here, it's got a nice little bezel. It's okay. Notice the stand is also a little rectangle. This guy is going to take up much less footprint on my desk than some of the other ones I've seen. I dig it. All right, so let's take a look at some of the I.O. on this guy. So I assume that this here is a double A size rechargeable battery. I have mini HDMI. I've got a 32 gig micro SD card. Yep, there we go. 32 gig should be plenty for anything I'm going to do. I have incoming USB C that's going to power the head unit. I do see that it is vice versa, so you could run your AC adapter into this guy and then the output could go down to your base, but I'm going to run it power into the base and then up to the display. And that would be what the output is. It's going to give you an option for uh, running a different power configuration. Doesn't really matter to me, not at all. So um, okay, there it goes. So this is the focus collar right here. 
And that's going to adjust the focus of the microscope. Down here is an interesting piece of this. There are LEDs that surround the camera, which is pretty fantastic. This is the light guide that I was talking about. You can pop it on, you give it a twist, and that way there, there's going to be less light interfering with the camera. Then you pop this bottom section back on, just like that. There you go. So there are LEDs up here, and that is going to give you a lot of light. We're gonna, I haven't plugged it in yet, so let's go ahead and check it out. But um, I like a lot of down-firing light, so let's first check it out without that guy. You can see all the LEDs, got a direct path. So hopefully they don't give a lot of uh, light splash on this lower lens. So that's a protective lens. I dig it, it looks like it's also filtered. So some sort of filtration going on there. Let's go ahead and turn this guy around so you guys can see what's happening. So right above the focus adjustment, it's going to be the smooth ring. And it's going to fit down on that smooth ring and then you can adjust these little tensioners just like so. Thumb tight, barely at all. Down on the base, we have USB-C incoming or USB-A. So you can use them interchangeably. There's different configurations, however you want to set them up. For me, I'm going to use the USB-C input. And that means I've got to plug this guy here into the back of the display. And my incoming power is going to be through the USB-C on the stand. There we go. Now before I plug this guy in, I'm not going to be using the mini HDMI. I do appreciate that they gave me this because I will be using that quite a bit. One of the things I really want to point out is the amount of clearance. Check out how much clearance I got down through here. This is amazing. So if I'm working on a board, that's one thing, but I have a lot of range if I'm working on some boards that have some high rise components. I dig the amount of range that I got on this guy. Check this out. I'm going to loosen this guy up. Wow. That riser really does help increase the amount of use cases for this microscope. I dig it. I really do. Okay. Let's clean it off and let's go ahead and plug it in. All right. So you can see the LED lights, they come on right away. And I have a power indicator up here. So let's go ahead and hit the power. All right. I'm sorry if I cannot pronounce this. It's opaque, opaca, opaca, maybe. Um, I'm still unfamiliar with the name. That's why I'm all the more curious to sit here and try this guy out. Slowly this guy all the way down. Ooh. It has a very nice image. I'll give him that. Or down. Okay, so while I'm adjusting the focus, I'm also adjusting the focal range. There we go. That has got a beautiful display. All right, let me put the lens back on. It's actually a filter and a protective. Holy cow. Okay, let's raise it up. Let's test the range of this guy for real. Wow! Look at that! That is absolutely beautiful! Can this really capture all that? Let's take a look. So look at my focal range. For a soldering microscope, this is almost unheard of. I really dig it. So one of the things that you're going to notice is that 
the further you get away from the light source, which most of it's coming from the microscope head, the dimmer it's going to get, which is why you got these side lights right here. So let's say I'm checking out this USB right here, which is infamous for breaking, not necessarily on this spark fun, but uh, this USB is a problem on many devices. So if I wanted to solder that guy or even inspect it, this is exactly how I would do it. And let's go ahead and lower it down to a comfortable use height, which is also my zoom. And let's pull it back into focus. Wow. Guys, that is a beautiful camera on there. Holy cow. Good on you guys. So I have plenty of focus adjustment here along with the height adjustment of the stand. I'm really glad they included this riser. It gives me a lot more options. These goosenecks, they, they do stick exactly where I tell them to. If I adjust them correctly, there we go. So here I am, I'm inspecting the USB port. And up here on the display, you can see exactly how I would inspect it, just like so. Look at that chip. So let me go ahead and zoom it down. Okay. And adjust the focus. Wow. Heck yeah. So if I wanted to check the pins on these guys, if I wanted to check other surface mount components, if I even wanted to check the back of the board, ooh, check that out. Spark fun. All right, so here you can see there's two anchoring points right there and right there. This microscope really does kind of shine a light on the problem. Right, let me get a knife to show you. So right here and right here are vias for soldering anchor points for that USB. And you can see that there is not any solder down those holes that I can tell. And I normally wouldn't have been able to see this with my naked eye. You know, things happen when you get older. But uh, here we are. Seeing this, I might actually try to add some solder to those guys because that means that that USB port right there is not as solidly anchored. Maybe it is. Ah. Uh, there's not really as much solder on these as I'd really like, bare minimum, bare minimum, which you can see really well with this microscope. Take a look at that. How cool is that? Well guys, that is the ODM 201 and what a fantastic little microscope. I dig it, I really do. The lights all work really well. The display is fantastic. I love the height that you get on it. One of the biggest problems we have all the time is to be able to get a good focal height so that we can put different size components underneath this. Let's say I'm checking a rotor on a motor. You know, that's one of those things that you're going to check the points, the connection points for the coils. Well, you have to have a lot of inspection height in order to do that. And here I can do that with this guy. Look at that. That's amazing. And if I move the lights around correctly, I can get a really good focus on it and see what's going on. So that was an easy one. Let's go ahead and check out this guy. So this up here, this is a USB-C, it's tiny, 
And that's why I want to use this as my guinea pig because USB-C can have gunk that gets down inside them. And when you have gunk that gets down inside them, it's sometimes hard to diagnose. This. Holy cow, crystal clear. I can see every single pin inside that USB-C. And that's that tiny little guy right there, which with the naked eye, you can't really see too well inside it. So if I was gonna inspect one of my points, this is what I would do right here. You can see that right there's some gunk. So if I wanted to clean off some of these contacts or something, or if I'm getting a shorted connection, I would put them right here under the microscope, clean it out, which is actually probably what I'm gonna do next. So that gunk that gets down in these magnetic USBs, that's what actually keeps it from getting a good connection. I'm gonna clean it out next. So guys, there you have it. Opaca, I guess is the name. That's what I'm gonna go with. But it's the ODM 201. Information for this microscope is gonna be in the video description. I dig it, I really like it. I wish I would have known about this guy. Oh, look at this, it is touch sensitive. It is touch sensitive, holy cow. Look at that. Just another cool feature, of course. Anyway guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, check out the manufacturer, Opaka. The model is ODM201 Digital LCD Microscope. I honestly think this one's going to replace what's on my current bench. Seems to be a good, good deal, especially with that riser. I dig the working height. Thanks for watching, guys.